Gastroparesis is a difficult condition to live with. This video will explain what changes occur to your stomach in gastroparesis and give my best tips on how to manage it. Gastroparesis is a condition of your stomach muscles being weak and not working properly. It's caused by damage to the nerves that control those muscles related to diabetes or may occur in the weeks after a stomach infection. When working correctly, your stomach muscles do three things. First, they relax when you eat to make space for food. Secondly, they churn the food to mix it up and aid digestion. Third, they help the stomach to empty and continue food's journey into the intestines where it's broken down and absorbed into your body. When you have gastroparesis, your stomach doesn't relax and so you'll feel full soon after you start eating. Because you'll have difficulty churning food, you're gonna find certain foods are more difficult to digest, especially those heavy in fat and protein like a rich steak or those with a lot of fiber like a big salad. Because your stomach doesn't empty effectively, food lingers and you may feel bloated long after your meal. If you have gastroparesis, these are my tips to help you adapt to these changes of your stomach. My first tip is to eat small, frequent meals. When you have gastroparesis, it's difficult for your stomach to stretch when you eat a large meal. So avoid that by eating smaller meals. I would suggest that rather than have three large meals, you try to have about five small meals throughout the day. My second tip is to ensure that your last meal is not too soon before you go to bed because a person with gastroparesis has difficulty emptying their stomach. So it'll allow four hours for the process of digestion to begin before you lay down at night. My next tip is to make sure that you chew your food thoroughly. When you have gastroparesis, you have to understand your stomach is not mechanically breaking down food effectively. So you're entirely relying on your teeth to break food down. So take the time to chew thoroughly if you have dentures, make sure these are fitted well. Following that advice, my next tip is to dice and cook vegetables. Raw vegetables are gonna be really difficult for you to digest if you have gastroparesis, but they're really important for nutrition. So dice them up small and cook them thoroughly so that they're soft and easier to digest. You can take that even a step further. Some people with gastroparesis will put foods into a blender to make pureed soups, and this is very easy to digest. A healthy stomach will empty food within about four hours, but liquids will slide straight through like a water slide down into the intestine. It empties pretty fast within an hour. A person with gastroparesis takes longer to empty food from their stomach, especially foods that are high in fat and high in fiber. So avoid fried foods and fatty meats like sausage. Be especially aware of insoluble fiber and crunchy vegetables and leafy greens and beans. These will be especially difficult to digest. So while they're nutritious, these foods can linger in your stomach for a long time. So avoid eating raw broccoli and consider my prior tip and have it chopped and steamed and that should be easier to digest. While a person with gastroparesis has delayed emptying of food from their stomach, liquids can move through at a near normal pace. So smoothies and protein shakes can be an important source of nutrition for a person with gastroparesis. But be careful. Carbonated beverages can cause a lot of bloating, and sugary beverages can make diabetes difficult to control. This brings me to my final tip. If you're a diabetic, careful control of your sugars will ensure that your stomach is working its best. It may be very helpful to meet with an endocrinologist who can help you adjust diabetes medications that can be particularly difficult to control when you have gastroparesis to get the timing right between your sugar level and your eating. By following these tips to adjust your lifestyle to gastroparesis, I hope that you can live with fewer symptoms and better health. Please explore the channel for more tips on how to have better gut health. Thank you and be safe.